the Bitcoin price right now is breaking down dramatically. Each hour that is passing, people are getting more scared and scared because the Bitcoin price right now is at $54,000. Potentially a 50K or 52K target is coming into play. We can see on other charts, many people are trying to long the Bitcoin price at these price levels. Of course, that could potentially be a good option. And I'll talk about that later in today's video. But overall, the Bitcoin price is dumping very, very heavily right now. We broke this crucial level of support right here. Yeah, a previous wick down here back from April last um, or this year, a few months ago. And now we have broken that. We can see the next price target if we are going to continue being bearish is $52,000. However, look at this. What if the Mt. Gox selling isn't priced in yet. Is that something which is keeping you awake at night? Because for sure, it's keeping a lot of people awake at night right now. Because as you know, Mt. Gox, this is as of July 5th, have started repaying their Bitcoin and Bitcoin cash payments. They have started repaying them. We knew this was coming. We knew this was happening in the month of July. It's July, July 5th, they've started repaying. And I think over the course of the month and probably next month, they are going to start repaying more and more. And I just want to say that if you you did in fact get some Bitcoin that you bought at 400, 500, 600 dollars back when, when Mt. Gox was around or even less and then you got it back and it was 50,000, 60,000 dollars, of course you're going to be selling some Bitcoin. Of course you're going to take that massive return, cash some out and then go ahead and buy something or pay off your mortgage. Of course you're going to do something like that. So that's exactly why we're seeing a massive dump right here on Bitcoin down to 54,000 dollars. However, the whole market is dumping as well. We can see altcoins right here. We've got meme coins, Sui down 20, Phantom down 20, Stacks down 13. We've got Core, um, XRP, Lit Chain Link. So many different things are down right now. If you do have USDT on the side, if you do have spare capital on the side, it could be a great entry point um, to dollar cost average into long, um, into, into spot positions, sorry. Because if we take a look at the chart right here, we zoom out on the daily chart and we bring up the RSI. Let's take a look at this because this is pretty interesting. So we can see right here, the last time the RSI was in fact this low was all the way back here. And this was around uh, September last year, 2023. So in September, 2023, the Bitcoin price was about $25,000, more than half the price it is now. And that would have been an amazing entry point for the long term. Again, let's take a look again, what, when it was last at this price, we can see right here, we can even see right here as well, right here. Again, it was at around $19,000. We can see right here as well. It was around $15,000. And currently now we are in this range right there. So look at this right here. Look at this right here and look at this right here. If you would have, if, if we hadn't have had this dump today and I would have told you if the RSI gets down below 30 and previously when it did that, it was an amazing buying opportunity, would you be buying today? And most of you would have said yes. However, now is the time and most likely most of you will not buy. That is what makes the difference between people who make money in crypto and Bitcoin and people who do not. You need to go ahead and buy when others are fearful. It's a massive, massive, massive factor when it comes to making um, money and being successful in crypto. I do want to talk about this though because we can see right here even in a bull market, if this is your first bull market, then congratulations. If it's your not, then a massive pat on the back. But we can see right here, even in a bull market like this, even when we are pumping, going absolutely parabolic on this kind of U curve right here, we can see 38% negative, 38, 33, 38, 36, 29. Even in the bull markets, we are still having big corrections like this. It still happens. We can take a look right here from the top right here, the local top right here at 73,000. We are down around about 26%. So if we take a look at this on a weekly chart, for example, or a monthly chart even, of course, it looks incredibly bearish right there. And it looks like a top almost. We can see right here, it looks like this. It kind of looks like this top back here, like so, which definitely looks very bearish. However, I don't think this is the end of the bull market. There's no way that the bull market in 2024, 2025 is going to top out at $73,000. It's just not going to happen. If it does, then we are all screwed. So um, yeah, you can definitely say that. But we can see right here, it, it definitely looks very, very bearish. However, when we see more bullish candlesticks, it's it's really, it's not going to be the end of the world, in my opinion. And I think today and now could be a great opportunity to go ahead and enter 
into some altcoins as well, like Chainlink we saw right here. Chainlink is down um, around 16%. Other good ones like uh, Sui down 20%. You can see Brett down 20%. There are some amazing altcoin and meme coins out there especially Solana meme coins, they tend to get hit very, very badly when the market goes down. However, it leads to a great buying opportunities during these times. I am still in my Bitcoin long position over on Bybit. I'm going to leave it open, of course. If we get back down to this $52,000 range right here, I am most likely going to enter, um, or not even enter another trade. I'm going to go ahead and add margin to that existing trade, hopefully bring the liquidation price down a little bit, and hopefully will be a good entry point for a long-term push towards the upside. But overall, I wouldn't really panic too much. I'd pretty, I'd stay pretty calm. Of course, things are down, but they're only down if you're selling. If you're buying more, it's a much, uh, it's a much better opportunity to enter a kind of a long-term hold position or long-term spot position. I think it's a much better opportunity. And if you're fearful from from these kind of dumps, then honestly, you don't deserve the massive pumps in a bull market. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. Again, just a quick one to update you about the market what is going on and I'll catch you in the next one.